Dearest Baber, remember when we danced to the produce aisles at Kroger's and the old ladies laughed at us? Or when we were kissing on the lifeguard tower and you could hear the distant chatter of a train and the gentle whisper of the waves? And at the same place when the geese flew by honking, I was afraid I'd get pooped on. Remember when we danced in the woods in the freezing cold and you cried but you wouldn't let me see your tears? Or when I knew I loved you before I ever said that I did and how I felt when I told you I was committed to living out those words before I ever said them? And months later, back at the farm by the little watering hole, I told you I loved you. And you nearly passed out from not breathing for five minutes before saying it back. That was nerve wracking. And the night we got engaged, I asked if we could throw a party, but everyone was already at the house. <laughs> Remember all the times they told us it's just a phase, and we laughed because we knew we could never be less in love? So here I publicly commit myself to sustaining our giddy, childlike, anxiously waiting, overly affectionate, flirty, exciting, and simple expression of love that admires all the moments, big and small, and ask dearly from all our friends and family in attendance that if ever they perceive something of this has changed, or we've separated ourselves from this or them, that they would have the courage to intervene and call us up in love. For why else would we have a public exchange of vows if not for the invitation for others to keep us accountable and remind us what our love was like on this day? Until this day, I've only been my own and only the Lord's. I've shared my life with many, but I won't simply share my life with you. I will give myself to you. Just as Christ gave himself for his bride. I vow to love you with everything, not withholding anything, overcoming fear and shame to fully know you and to be fully known by you. Empowered by the grace of Jesus, I bind myself to you with my word, but evidenced by my deeds. I will be faithful to you. I will trust you. I will be honest and transparent with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I promise to love you as Jesus loves you. Say what he says about you. To fan into flame the gifts of God that are in you to comfort you and carry you in times of mourning and celebrate with you in times of joy, to surround you with praise and affirmation. I will delight in you and pleasure you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I pledge to lead us in songs of adoration and the goodness of the King when sorrow arises, to cultivate a life of worship that sets the tone for our marriage, our family, our future children, and our children's children to dream bigger with you, to receive your love and grace as a free gift, full knowing I deserve death, but Jesus gave me life and a wife. I will cover you as Christ covers me, and I will be lifted up by your honor as Christ is magnified in honor. Surely you are my greatest glory outside the glory of God. Though we may encounter fear, we will live fearlessly in pursuit of the Lord. My greatest honor is to be one with the Most High as we carry this covenant of marriage, to be one with you, my bride. That when people see our love and romance, they will see how Jesus loves and be taken deeper into his mercy. I will lead us and guide us, free from the influence of fear, but rather in unceasing faith as we grow together from faith to faith, and glory to glory, experiencing life together more abundantly as long as we both shall live. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. Micaiah John, I'll never forget the moment I knew without a doubt in my mind that your heart was far beyond anything I thought even possible. On our first date, you asked me to be your girl. Obviously, I responded with a million resounding yeses. Right then, you told me that you really liked me but you were saving another very special four-letter word, four word for later, 
and that your purpose in doing that was this. If you were never, never able to speak those words to me, that all of your actions would proclaim that to me in all of the world. A love so obvious, so intentional, and so much deeper than just saying a simple four-letter word to someone and it falling on shallow ground. A few months later, you took me to a very special place and told me that for the very first time that you loved me, after you'd saved it for what seemed like a lifetime. <laughs> and you'd proven it to me by the way you cherished me, pursued me, protected my heart, and honored me. And then, two months later after that, you got down on one knee and asked me the very best question in the world. Of course, I obviously was ecstatic to say yes. And now, here we are, standing in front of all these people and before Jesus, committing ourselves to a lifelong covenant of Christ-honoring marriage and love. Micaiah John, as your best friend, closest companion, and your wife, know that I will fight for you and our marriage every second of every day with every breath that I have. I vow in our covenant together to always uphold the principles of a kingdom marriage the way God designed it, to reflect the passion and love between Jesus and his bride, to put Christ at the center of everything, to always beckon you closer to the Father and faithfully run beside you as we follow wherever it may be that he leads us. I will always challenge us to keep pressing into the calling, anointing, and gifting he has on our lives together. I promise to always protect, cherish, and pursue your heart. I will honor you, build you up, always have your back, and be your best teammate, number one cheerleader, and your biggest fan. I will never stop praying for you, respecting you, empowering you, and adoring you. I can't wait to see you be a daddy to our children someday. I promise to stand beside you as we raise up a generation of children that we bring into this world together, Lord willing, that who will raise up and change nations for the kingdom of heaven. I vow that our children will always know that their mommy is ridiculously wild about their daddy. I will always be your best and wildest adventure buddy, and even when the competitive side of me comes out, that always wants to beat you at everything we play, I will always love you, even if I never slackline better than you or beat you at ping pong. I will never stop laughing with you, dancing with you, and being a kid with you. I'm elated to start this season of life with you as my husband and enter, enter into the sacred and holy covenant together. As your wife, I promise to always reflect the heart of Jesus as I honor and cherish your body and your heart. From this day forward, as your bride, I will be a constant source of delight and joy. And as Solomon's bride once said to him, I will be a seal over your heart, a safe place and a refuge for you. And many waters cannot quench my love for you. I will be your faithful partner for every season of life that Jesus carries us through. Faber Bear, I choose you today, tomorrow, and every single day after that. I give all that I am to you and only you, trusting and knowing full well that you will always protect, honor, and cherish everything that I am. Micaiah. Next to being a daughter of the Most High King, it is my greatest and greatest joy and highest honor to pledge myself to you as your beloved bride from this day forward and as long as we both shall live. I will always love you. <laughs> I now pronounce you. <laughs> and then why? You make us the bride. <laughs> For the very first time, may I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. McKay and Anna Foster!